All right, guys, this is the recap for the Bam Bassin Tournament on Vernon Lake in Leesville, Louisiana. I made it out on Friday for this tournament to do some scouting. I had never fished Vernon Lake before, so I was going to use the day just to explore and see if I could locate some fish. I launched at the south end of the lake slightly after daylight. I spent a good portion of the morning in the back of the creek arms where I launched at. I wanted to cover a lot of water, so I stuck with the moving baits for most of the morning. I eventually moved out and started fishing a couple of the main lake points, heading towards the north and some of the pockets. The points were loaded with bait fish and fish in that 12 to 15 foot range, but I could not get a bite out there. At 11.45, I had no bites. My intentions were to head further north, but the wind was starting to pick up some, so I decided to head back towards the ramp. When I turned around, I was planning on going going to the ramp, picking up, and going launch on the north end, but I found myself fishing near the dam. There was a small pocket at the start of the dam on the west side. I ended up getting my first bite on the point of the pocket right there, and it was a good one. Ooh. That's a good one. Over here, man, you fight good. You know. yeah. <laughs> it was my best fish on the year so far. It went 19 inches. I hung around that pocket for a while. I wound up catching another bass about 12 inches on a watermelon red baby brush hog. I lost one nice one there. Ooh, that was a good fish. And I had three or four bites that I didn't even set the hook on. I fished my way back to the boat ramp and wound up missing one more on a spinner bait. Little one. I was back at the ramp for about 2.30. I loaded the kayak up, got everything in the truck, and decided to go get familiar with where the other launches were on the lake. At this point, I wasn't sure what I was going to do for tournament morning. Tournament day, I decided to launch on the south end and go fish that little pocket near the dam where I caught that nice fish at. I figured I would stay in that pocket till about 9.30 and then make a decision at that point on if I was going to head back to the ramp, pick up, go to the north end, or stick around the boat launch and see if I could figure out something else around there. I got to the launch fairly early for a change, got the kayak launched, and headed out to that little pocket. First cast was at 6.45. I got in that pocket about 6.30, so I had about 15 minutes to spare. At 6.45, I started throwing a white horny toad, cranking it nice and slow, and on about my fourth or fifth cast, I got a bite. I set the hook and sent the bass skimming across the top of the water. Oh, came off. It was probably about a 12, 13 inch bass. After that bite on the frog, I made at least three, four wraps in that pocket throwing that frog. Couldn't get another bite on it. I switched to that white and chartreuse spinner bait. I'd caught that nice fish on the day before, and it didn't take but a handful of casts to get a bite on it. And he got too close to it. My first fish went 14 and a half inches. Same as with the frog, after catching that fish on that spinner bait, I made at least three, four wraps throughout that pocket, throwing that spinner bait. Couldn't get another bite on that. I decided to slow down with a watermelon red baby brush hog. It didn't take me too long to catch my second fish on that. That fish went 12 and a quarter and put my total length at 26 and three quarters. It didn't take me too long to get bit on that brush hog again.
Oh, that's a big old circle here. That was a pretty big cycle. Eh? Caught him on spinner beats before, but not fishing a soft plastic Texas rig. Shortly after that cycle, eh? I caught my third fish on that baby brush hog. This one went 11 and a half inches and put my total length at 38 and a quarter. About a half hour later, I caught my fourth fish on that baby brush hog clipping a boat dock. I wound up with some missing footage on this one. It went 11 and three quarters and put my total length at 50 inches. It was time to make a move, but the wind was blowing a little harder than I expected for the day. The waves would have been hitting me sideways on the way back to the ramp. I didn't want to take any chance of flipping, so I stayed in that pocket hoping the winds would die down and figuring I could maybe pick up another fish or two in there while waiting. My next two fish I set the hook on, both came off right by the boat. A little bit better one. Good job. Ah! Oh. They wasn't any giants, but I sure could have used them. I wound up catching my fifth fish in that pocket a little after 10 o'clock. Right. Not a good hook, sir. This one went 13 and a half inches and put my total at 63 and a half inches. I stayed in that small pocket till a little afternoon until the wind had finally slacked off enough to where I felt comfortable in getting out of there. So I headed towards the back of the creek where I launched at. They had a few kayaks and boats fishing towards the back of the creeks. So I turned around and started fishing my way back up. I just couldn't get a bite. I headed back towards the boat ramp to fish a small stretch of bank. I wound up catching my sixth fish right there. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, he got me wrapped. Uh, not as big as I thought. It definitely helped. Cool. We're lucky with that one. It went 15 and three quarters and called my 11 and a half inch fish. Brought my five fish total to 67 and three quarters of an inch. Fishing stop time was at three o'clock, so I still had about 40 minutes left to try and pick a few fish up. I continued fishing up that bank until it turned into a long point and wound up catching my seventh fish. That one went 14 and a half inches and called it 11 and three quarter inch fish and brought my five fish total to 70 and a half inches. I spent the last 10 minutes of fishing time on that point and couldn't get another bite. I didn't have too bad of a day fishing. I did lose three fish that probably cost me maybe around two inches and a, a place or two in the standings. I finished 14th out of 34 anglers. And after the third tournament of the year, 
I believe I dropped to seventh in the point standings. I'll be missing the next one or two tournaments, so towards the end of the year, I'm going to have some catching up to do. I'd like to congratulate Blake on the win and Big Fish of 23 inches. Jason in second place had not one, but two 22-inch bass. And congratulations to everybody else that had some good finishes. Vernon Lake showed out pretty good, and there was quite a few big bass caught for this tournament. If you enjoyed this video, Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.